Hey Greg, how you doing? I'm good, how you doing Nathan? Great. This episode is brought to you by Squarespace. So we are Voron Design. We're an open source uh, group of enthusiasts and the kind of the ethos for Voron is we design these printers and we release them all open source for free online. You can go there and download the STLs, the manual, the bill of materials, build it yourself. We don't sell anything. Our whole thing is just based on donations that we get in and just volunteer work from the people that you see behind the booth here. Specifically, my printer is a V0, Voron Zero. That's the one I uh, designed. It's really my workhorse printer, 90% of what I Wait, you designed this? I designed this printer I, and I know it. a lot of people that are ripping you off. Yeah, that's, that's the whole point, man. Open source, take it and make it your own. This is a relatively stock printer. I have a couple of little mods on here, but you go from something like this to something crazy like Timmet has over here where he's done LED panels and all sorts of stuff. That's kind of the beauty of it. You can grab this stuff and make it your own. But doesn't it kind of piss you off when people steal your design and they don't give anything back? Uh, I'm always wanting people to give back to the community, for sure. Okay. Kind of, you got to take the good with the bad. You know what I mean? Some people are going to take it and do their own thing, but I'd rather focus on the people that take it and then come back and do things like submit mods to our mod repo and find stuff to make it better for everyone else in the community. Yeah, I know there's a lot of people that are using these to print really fast. Yeah. Was that one of your goals in mind when you... Not even a little bit. My goal was I want a printer that I can print ABS on reliably and I don't have to me mess around with it every time I want to print on it. And people like 24-7 printing and some of the other people doing the speed benches just took that thing and brought it to a level that I had never even intended or thought was possible. So it's yeah. really wild what they're doing. Okay, so in your case, you're happy that other people have taken the design Absolutely. because they made it better than Absolutely. you could. Absolutely. All right, and then this one's even smaller. Did you make <laughs> this one? I did. This was our, this was my uh, sort of, let's make a dumb printer for Murph. It's a uh, 35 millimeter by 35 millimeter bed size, and it only prints Voron what? calibration cubes. <laughs> Uh, no offense, but that is one of the most pointless <laughs> things I've ever seen. Absolutely, absolutely. Can it at least print a benchy? No, it's okay. not even big enough to print a benchy okay. unless you scale it down. Okay, so what else do you have at this table? I mean, so we've got a. This has been a hit so far. It's our 400% uh, model of our M4 extruder, the latest version of our Bowden extruder. It's used on this Voron Legacy printer right here. We've always been kind of big fans of Bowden. The original Vorons were all. Bowden tube ones, and we really loved how those printed. Um, and sort of the, the move to direct drive was just basically for user convenience. You yeah. know, it's a little bit harder to tune a Bowden printer, uh, but when you do them right, I think they make great, uh, great little machines. And it also, you can move the tool head a lot faster when you don't have extruder components in That's it. That's you know? true, but I personally believe that Bowden is always better. I mean, no, worse than direct drive. I think I Direct think so. drive is better. I think ultimately that's where it went to, yes. But uh, we still have this one available for download or if you want to build it yourself or whatever. And kind of this was the uh, this was the let's make a giant model this year. We had, a, yeah. we had a giant model of our stealth burner last year. So this was the one that got uh, picked by the group to make a giant model of this year. Maybe next year we'll have a giant model of some other component. Yeah, and this one's really cool because it's got a 3D printed belt. Yeah, the belt it's... is TPU and it's got a real stepper motor sitting inside this, you know, dummy one in the back here. We yeah. can move, we can change the direction of Whoa. it if we want. Nice. So, um, in case we need to retract, you know? Yeah, right. That's what the cool kids call it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How important are in-person events like this to your community and your mission? But it's Every time we come to one, it always surprises me how many people already have heard of Voron, and then the same side, how many people have never heard of it or are coming up and just learning about 3D printing. Yeah. We were talking to a, guy, a gentleman earlier who had never heard of what a slicer was before. So like, just being able to introduce people to that community in like a you know face-to-face -face way, I think it just is awesome. I mean, not everyone needs to know what a slicer is, though. Right, right. <laughs> like, I'm pretty sure it's a little too technical for like, uh, I don't know. Yeah, a lot of people just want to know like, hey, can I, can I build what you have sitting on there? And the answer is absolutely. You can build this printer. I've been using Squarespace to design and host my own website for over two years now. Before starting my website with Squarespace, I didn't really have any web design experience, but their user interface called Fluid Engine makes it really easy to build web pages from the ground up. 
So you can use your phone or computer to drag and drop pictures, links, buttons, and all sorts of stuff. And it makes it really easy to bring your creative visions to life. Squarespace is a great way to establish a professional web presence. And with Squarespace domains, you can even pick your own domain name. So when you go to NathanBuildsRobots.com, you can see that's me. So check out Squarespace.com for a free trial. The best part is you don't have to pay anything until you're ready to publish your website. Once you're ready to launch your website, go to squarespace.com slash NathanBuildsRobots to claim a 10% coupon off your first purchase of a website or domain. Now let's get back to our presentation on 3D printing. So where were we? All right. I think a lot of people want something that they can buy. And for some reason, it says you guys don't sell anything. Yeah, like, we don't. <laughs> We don't sell anything. All okay. these plans are, are uh, for free. There are companies like Fabrico right over here and West 3D and LDO that make kits for our printers and they sell them. Yeah. And we're more than happy to work with them. So do they give money back to you for using your design or? We don't expect it. I, if, if they'd like to donate, they're more than welcome to, but there's no obligation of any kind. When they design stuff, do you expect them to open source that stuff as well? We love it when companies stick to the GPL3 license that these are released under. There has been some companies that just choose not to. I mean, like I said, we're not a company, so we're not going to send a lawyer after them. But, you know, it's basically the good of the community. You know what I mean? Do good yeah. to them and good things come back to you. It's I'm fun. surprised that this kind of business model is even sustainable. <laughs> like, well, that's uh, the best part. When you don't have to worry about profits, your business model can be real nice. What's the business model? Just put it all out there for free and volunteer your time. Wow. Everyone here is a volunteer. No one gets paid. Wow. We just show up because we love 3D printing and we love designing these machines to be the best machines that they can be. So if I needed help building one of these machines, because it looks pretty complicated, yeah. could I hire one of you to help me build it? <laughs> You can DM me later and we'll talk. What is the deal with the Soval SV0A? Yeah, so they released a real cool looking printer based on the Voron 3. And just like we were speaking about earlier, they did so complying with the GLP3 license. They're doing, releasing an open source, which we love. Like, we love to see that from the community and the people that are uh, moving into it. We don't have any affiliation with them. They just reach out and said, hey, we're releasing this printer. You know, do you mind if we donate back to you? Yeah. Like I said, we, we don't do any sort of licensing agreement. They're welcome to donate, just like anyone else is welcome to donate to help us come to events like this. Right. That's cool that they're uh, donating back to the cause. Sure. But I guess one thing that confuses me about this whole organization is with a company you have like a CEO. Sure. Or with a political party you have a president. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do you guys decide what to do? Yeah, do you get so in a really room together and like chant and then... <laughs> We get our hoods up and we have a ritual with some, you know. I mean, that's what people are telling me about you guys, right, so right, right, I don't know. Right. No, we have a very active Discord. We have a lot of people that have been on Discord for a long time. And we have a, a group of developers um, and admins that do a great job of sort of managing it as close to a company as you can be without, you know, having daily stand-up meetings and <laughs> any of the boring stuff. I, I noticed you gestured to this gentleman over here. Yeah, Doug's one of our wonderful admins. Yeah, I just have a quick question for, th for him. How many people per day do you have to ban for being a little too rowdy on the Discord server? Uh, fewer than you would expect. Really? We, uh, most of the folks on our Discord are generally want to have a better environment for people to be in. There's generally, for the most part, we've got most of the banning we do is for spammers. Oh. It's for scripts, it's for sc bots, yeah. scripts. Crypto That's crypt the, They aren't even real people. No, they're not even real people. 90, 95% of the user account bans are that. Okay. Or people have had account compromise. We call it rule number one is be awesome to everyone. Okay. Um, if people struggle with that, we'll talk to them, or we actually bring them aside and <laughs> That's go. That's a funny way to put it. If you struggle with being awesome, we're gonna have to talk. <laughs> yes, we do everything we can to be like, hey, let's just, can you do your part to contribute to having a great environment for everyone else? Right. Most people want to be in a good environment and they're willing to work within that. Okay. We do have people that leave on voluntarily because they, oh. they don't agree with us. Um, so that, that's, and that's their choice. They leave involuntarily, though. Well, no, no, they leave. A lot of folks that we dealt with, if we ever have issues, they, we just say, hey, uh, that we address it in our own way. Right. Most, like of the time, a, in the <laughs> most, of, most of the time, we have people that leave because they don't like we're as, us asking them not to be toxic. Right. 
Well, I'm just imagining in Game of Thrones where they do the, the shame bell. No. Do you ever do that? No. Okay. No, because... I, I think it'd be effective. But here's the thing, then that's us not being, not showing that rule number one of being uh, awesome to everyone. Okay. Well, I mean, that, those are some admirable goals that you have, and uh, I should get a little more involved with the Voron community. Well, you're more than welcome to join. We'd love to have you there. All right, Greg. Well, thanks for talking to me today about the Voron community. Absolutely. I Thank mean, you, Nate. it's kind of mysterious, and you know, <laughs> you don't really know what's going on. But just come to an event like this: uh, East Coast Rep Rap Festival, Rocky Mountain Rep Rap Festival, yeah. Midwest Rep Rap Festival, Absolutely. and you can meet these guys firsthand and see how awesome they are. So, again, keep, keep being awesome. Absolutely. Thank All you, right. Nate. It's a pleasure.